Tonight, the Bay City community is relieved after an arrest in a brutal murder that frightened the area. 41-year-old Justy Stilwell was reported missing in Bay City last Wednesday. His body parts were found in the Saginaw River the same day. This morning, a 40-year-old Bay City man was taken into custody and additional body parts were discovered that are believed to be Stilwell's. The suspect was arrested as a search warrant was executed on Elm Street. Tiffany Maddox takes us to the scene. Too close to home. This is really peaceful neighborhood. Nothing like this would go on. Ron Lesniak is astonished at the scene just around the corner from his home. Investigators with the Michigan State Police Crime Lab spending most of Wednesday searching this home in the 100 block of Elm Street in Bay City. It was also here where they arrested a 40-year-old man in connection to the death of 41-year-old Justy Stilwell. Stilwell, a janitor at Handy Middle School, was reported missing last Wednesday after he didn't show up for work for several days. That same day, a passerby noticed a body part in the Saginaw River, which led investigators to find Stilwell's arms and lower legs near the Edward Golson boat launch. He was identified using fingerprints. Investigators searched cell phone records and social media accounts to try and help piece together what happened. On Wednesday, authorities also released that additional remains belonging to Stilwell were found at another location in the city not at the home. Those who live near Elm Street tell ABC 12 three men lived at the house. Two weren't a problem, but one man did cause trouble at times. People who live in the area say they're glad a suspect is in custody, but feel awful for Stilwell's family. Oh, somebody has to be really out of it to do something like this. I just can't get over it. In Bay City, Tiffany Maddox, ABC 12 News. And the suspect is being held at the Bay County Jail on an open murder charge. His name is being withheld until he has been formally arraigned on criminal charges in Bay County District Court.